back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me. I am currently getting ready to go out with my boyfriend. I'm not quite sure what we're doing, but I think we were planning on going out to dinner. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of a soft glam look. It's kind of gonna look like my Valentine's Day look, because my Valentine's Day look was more of a soft glam look. But I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit so it's not the same exact tutorial. But I will pretty much be using almost the same exact colors. So for a soft glam tutorial, I really like the whole pinky, purpley, mauve look. So that is kind of the scheme I will be going with here for this video also. Well, I'm going to try. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to take a few palettes and run with it and see what I come up with. So the only thing that I've done so far is my eyebrows. And I have an eyebrow tutorial if you guys are interested. Um, I will link it down below in the description box and you guys can check it out. That's pretty much the only thing I've done so far, I think. So now I'm going to go in with my Clinique Moisture Surge. I really love this to get my skin ready for the makeup I'm about to apply. As you can see, I'm almost out. I hit the bottom already, so I really need to go get more. But this doesn't really serve as a primer. This more is just um, getting, since I do have dry skin, this is really just moisturizing my skin and getting it ready for the tons and tons of makeup I'm about to apply on top of it. So yeah, just gonna put that all over. And now I'll be going in with my primer. And I'm trying a new primer now, and I will be doing a review on it. I've only used it about two times, so I wanna use it a few more times before I give it a review. I will be doing a review video on this product and also the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. So these two I'm gonna do a review on, and these are my two newest products that I've been loving so far. I've only used them twice, like I said, both of them uh, together also. So I'm going to give it a few more tries before I give um, a solid review on it. But this is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And so far I've really been loving it. It's going to put two drops. I put three, but if you want to do two. And then you're going to mix it. And you're just going to apply it all over your skin. It is an oil. So it does feel like an oil obviously going on your skin. But I love that feeling. I don't know why. I guess because my skin is dry. I know oily people would not like this, do not like this feeling, obviously. But people with dry skin, oh my god, I love this feeling. It makes my skin feel so nice. Oh, I'm making such weird faces putting it on. But I love it. Oh, it feels so good. And it says that you want to leave this on. Um, it says let it absorb into the skin before applying makeup. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it on. Um, sit for a while and I'm gonna move on to the eyes now okay so first I am going to be going in with light brown from the Lorac Pro palette this tutorial is also gonna be a tutorial more for hooded eyes as you guys can probably tell from the few videos I've done already for tutorials I do have hooded eyes so applying makeup on hooded eyes is a little bit different than applying it on people with bigger eyes where you have more lid space. I'm going to be taking a Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush. Just going to dab it in there and then I'm going to, this is going to be my transition color. So I'm just going to put that in the crease. And for people with hooded eyes, you really don't want to put the color exactly in your crease where your crease is. You want to go a little bit higher than your crease because usually if you do have hooded eyes like me, you tend to put the lid color more on the crease also. You always want to make everything go up. So where your crease is, you want to go up from that and put your transition color there. You can also blend it into the crease because it will make everything seem more seamless and blended together and really nice. But you don't want to focus it just there because then you won't be able to see the transition color. And you want to just do circular motions, light circular motions. It also helps for hooded eyes if you raise your eye like that, your eyebrow, and you... It helps a lot to see where you're applying your color because if you just apply it like this, it doesn't really help much. You want to raise it a little bit so you can see where you're doing, where you're placing the color, where you're doing, what you're doing and where you're placing the color. And as you can see, I am placing it a little bit in my crease, but I'm tending to stay more up. And I'm just doing light circular sweeping motions. 
So for my preference with hooded eyes, I like doing the lid color next if I'm going to go in with a shimmery, bright um, lid color. If you're just going in with a regular matte color, it really doesn't matter if you do the crease for first or the lid first. But I've noticed that with hooded eyes, with my hooded eyes and with glitter, if I go in with the crease first and then the lid, it doesn't look as blended and seamless as nice. So if I go in with the lid first and then do the crease, I see that it stays a little bit nicer and it looks more blended but it's more just based on your preference and for the lid color I think I'm going to go in with mocha right there also from the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be going in with an Urban Decay brush it's just this one it came with one of the Naked palettes it's pretty much just a flat definer brush I just realized that I forgot to show you guys but I did prime my eyes also right after I applied my primer and I primed them with the Lorac behind the scenes primer. I don't know how that got cut off, but I did prime them with this. And this is a really good primer for hooded, for hooded eyes also. And you're just gonna apply that all over the lid. And like I said, if you have hooded eyes, you wanna bring the lid color up a little bit into the crease. Just a little bit though, you, want, you don't wanna go too high up. Cause then you won't have enough room for the crease color. Next, I'm going to be going in with Nectar, also from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M330 brush to do that. And I'm going to place this color right on top of the transition color. And now I'm going to be going in with the small tapered blending Sigma brush, the E45 brush, and I'm going to blend that out. And I'm also going to be putting a little bit more of nectar on this brush and just going in a little bit more. Okay, and then after you are done doing that, you can go back in with Mocha, the lid color, and just fix whatever fallout you had after blending everything together. Next, I'm going to be applying mascara, and I'm using the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer mascara, and I'm just going to prep my eyelashes for my eyelashes, my falsies. And as you can see, this look doesn't look bad with just mascara. If you don't want to apply false lashes, you don't have to. You can just leave it like this and the eyes can be done. Or you can even add some wing liner. Personally, I loved, I love, love, love wing liner. But with hooded eyes, wing liner doesn't always look good with every look you do for hooded eyes. So you really have to be careful when you apply that liner, like what look you're going for. Now for lashes, my new favorite lashes have currently been House of Lashes Temptress Lash, Temptress Lashes. Wow, that is a tongue twister, but they look like this. Obviously I've used them before, so they don't look brand new in the package, but I absolutely adore these lashes. 
I definitely need to get more. I only got one pair, but I love them. They have been my current go-to and my favorites. Okay, so I applied my lashes off camera because I also do have a how to apply and clean your false lashes video. I will also link that down in the description box for you guys in case you're interested. So these are Temptress Lashes by House of Lashes. I honestly love them like so much. They look so natural. Like they look natural but glam. You know what I mean. So now that the primer is in my skin and it's absorbed in, I am now going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the color Buttermilk 6.5. And I love that it has like, I will do a review on it, like I said, I will do a video on it. But I love this little thing, how it's like this, like you just put it on like that, you could just dab it. I love it. I know Nicole Guerrero uses this foundation and that's where I first heard it from, was her when I was watching her video. And then I looked it up and it said it was also good for dry skin. So I was like, let me try it. Cause I never find any more foundations that are good for dry skin. I don't know why, I can never find them. If you guys have any recommendations for good foundations for dry skin, please let me know and I will try them out. Cause I'm always up for trying new foundations. So now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend out the foundation. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And this concealer is not the color correcting one, it's the concealing one. It's in the color Y23. I've only tried this once, but so far I really like it. If you guys want a review on this also with the other two products, just let me know down in the comments. First, I'm going to be going in with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 brush just to tap it out around my eyes. Woo! Now, I will be going in with my Beauty Blender. tip for hooded eyes is with your concealer when you're doing your under eye area bring the concealer up a little bit into the tear duct and the inner corner of your eye it'll really make your eyes look brighter and bigger And there you go. They look a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter. It's amazing what a little concealer can do. Okay, and I wanted to try to incorporate some drugstore products in here because I know I don't really use a lot of drugstore products. And one product that I decided to pick up from the drugstore is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I'm going to use that to set my concealer. Now we are going to go into contouring and of course I'm going to be using my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I will be going in with 
subconscious. I will be baking and I will just be using the same air spun um, loose setting powder. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave this on for about five minutes and then I'll be right back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to incorporate more drugstore products. So for my blush, I will be going in with Lorac. And it is the flaunt, I think it's called. It says, here, you guys can, right? Flaunt, I guess that's the name of it. <laughs> the next for highlight, I will be mixing two highlighters together. And they are the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood and the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. These two together and with the brush wet, oh my gosh, I can't even. So I'm gonna wet my brush first with my Mario Badescu um, rose water. Just gonna wet it. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Holy moly, and I haven't even added on Laura Geller yet. So that's what I'm going to do now. Wet my brush one more time, just to make sure. And then we are going in with Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I feel like these two together, oh my gosh, must have. There's no such thing as too bright of a highlight, clearly. And now for the final thing, which is the lips. I couldn't decide between two colors, which are Patina by Stilla and Teeny Tiny by Colourpop. I think I'm gonna go with Teeny Tiny by Colourpop. Okay, so my camera cut off on me, but I was saying that after I was done with the lip, I realized the eyes still needed a little something more. So all I did was I added that mocha color underneath on my waterline, um, and I smudged it out with a smudge brush, and then I added a highlighter into the corners of my eye, like I said, because it makes your eyes look bigger. And I also forgot I did the eyebrow highlight. You're just going to set all of our hard work with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Okay guys, so that was it. This is the finished look. I know it looks really similar to my Valentine's Day tutorial that I did and I apologize, but this is more of a get ready with me. This is what I'm going to be wearing when I go out tonight with my boyfriend and this is what I really wanted to do. This is the look I really want to do. So I know it looks similar, but, but I promise that I have more creative ideas up my sleeve that I will be getting out for you guys. I'm excited to try it out and get those videos up for you guys. Also, I really wanted to do this simple look because it was more of a tutorial for hooded eyes also. I know there aren't a lot of videos out that I know of for people with hooded eyes, so I really had this idea in mind and I wanted to do it for a while now, so it was the perfect opportunity. I hope it helped you guys in any way, and if you have any tips and tricks for me that you guys do, leave them down in the comments. I would love to see them and try them out myself. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be rolling out a ton of videos soon because I will be on spring break, so I'm really excited. So during spring break, I will be cleaning out my basement and I will be making that into my little filming studio. I am so excited to have a bigger space to film. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and to keep up with me. Also, follow me on social media so you can keep up with me on there and send me some ideas of some videos you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys later.